surgery of the brain while the patient is awake, talking, moving, interacting with our team, it is an art and a science, a truly multidisciplinary effort that includes leadership from different disciplines. Our team's work was recently published in the Journal of the American Medical Association, JAMA. We have spent most of our professional lives working on making this surgery safer, more efficient, and streamlined for our patients so they can have a better outcome and better quality of life. At our institution, our patients are evaluated preoperatively and postoperatively by our neuropsychologists. Patients undergo a specialized imaging study to understand how functions of the brain important for a speech or motor or other important tasks are organized around the lesion, like a brain tumor or a vascular malformation. Our patients are assessed by our specialized neuroanesthesia team that gives the patient special medications so the patients are comfortable and get fully interacted during surgery. Inside of the operating room, we have nurses and technicians that do this type of surgery all the time so patients get the best care possible. Dr. Mendy, Dr. Gruenbaum, and Dr. Boyaji, would you be able to comment on the specific protocols we have developed from the anesthesia side? So, uh, Dr. Quinones, through our collaboration effort with the surgical team, we have developed standardized protocols that start in the preoperative area. And this helps the patient to have some time to meet the whole team in the preoperative area. So the last minute questions can be asked to alleviate any of the uh, questions. This is where also we start with the scallop nerve blocks so that we can more efficiently in our OR to start the process, which will also reduce pain and ensure that not only our patients are comfortable, but also they have the best possible care. In the operating room, we make sure that our patients follow specific protocols to ensure that they're not only comfortable, but they're able to become active participants in the awake mapping and testing paradigms that will be performed. This requires a system-based approach that guarantees safe anesthesia, control of vitals, control of pain, adequate management of sedation, and closed loop communication with the surgical team to ensure that the timing is perfect and our patients can participate at key moments. We have a truly multidisciplinary team with the patient being part of that team in awake craniotomies. Our work highlights the level of coordination and focus uh, on patient care. It's the bedrock for our vision and the work uh, set forth for our team. Our main priority is to ensure patient safety, the best possible experience, the safest anesthetic plan, and the most efficient way to utilize our, our operating rooms and the hospital facilities. Truly remarkable work that enables our patients to be comfortable and become active participants. Another key aspect of our program is the close knit collaboration between our neuropsychology, neuroradiology, and the surgical teams that truly design patient specific surgical plans. Dr. Sasevich, please comment on the specific paradigms for a speech and or motor mapping we have developed for our patients. Sure. So every one of our patients that's seen in our program undergoes comprehensive neuropsychological evaluation prior to surgery. And that helps us not only determine the impact of the tumor on thinking, but it also guides our decision-making on what tasks would be best during surgery to evaluate our patients and try to minimize any type of uh, risks or morbidity. We also see our patients after surgery where we can compare how they're doing to their pre-surgical evaluation. Um, and that allows us to, again, be very comprehensive in our evaluation approach and also um, uh, help treat any uh, um, complications that do develop. Regarding intraoperative testing, I should add that through careful interpretation of imaging findings in collaboration with Dr. Middlebrooks and Dr. Quinones, we start planning the specific paradigms and tests that will better serve each patient's specific lesion by interpreting which subcortical, cortical, and white matter stru structures are involved and which would be the most specific testing paradigms that would help us understand any changes in function during active resection. 
In the operating room, we use uh, Neuromapper, which is a digital testing platform that contains comprehensive, conceptually informed language tests that measure not just our ability to, let's say, name a picture, but also a wide range of other linguistic or language functions that are maybe at risk during surgery. In addition, Neuromapper contains paradigms that allow us to map non-language functions, such as attention, higher level problem solving, and even multitasking. Amazing work. Dr. Middlebrooks, can you please comment on the specific imaging protocols that we have developed for our patients? Sure. Uh, to complement the awake surgery program, we've implemented an array of imaging tools, including functional MRI and advanced tractography techniques that enable us to better characterize the patient's anatomy with greater precision than ever before. These tools, they help us to identify the areas where we have critical brain function to preserve and also the white matter tracks that connect those areas. And so we can see the proximity of these tumors to these vital areas which in turn allows us to plan treatment more effectively for every individual patient. We integrate these tools into the OR uh, with Dr. Quinones and Dr. Sapsevitz, as you heard, with, which enables them to customize the testing to target very specific functions with high precision. So for example, when we map specific aspects of language, such as semantic function, we can select the most appropriate intraoperative tasks that allow us to identify deficits related specifically to that aspect of language and this approach really facilitates having a highly focused testing, enabling us to detect even the earliest and most subtle deficits during surgery. Our multidisciplinary approach allows us to better resect tumors and avoid injury to important brain functions such as speech and or motor function. We employ state-of-the-art imaging, neuropsychology, neuroanesthesiology, surgical tools, and surgical methods, as you heard from our team, to optimize our workflows so we can serve more patients and improve their outcomes. The study reported here in JAMA about awake brain surgery at our institution shows that with the implementation of this program, we have been able to reduce the time patients spend in the hospital after surgery by one full day. We have also reduced the time they spend in the intensive care unit, and we have reduced the risk of readmission by over 60%. We have also reduced the one-year mortality while ensuring quality of life and patient care at the highest levels. We thank you and hope that you get a chance to read our JAMA publication. Thank you.